Now we are going to look at setting up the AIRVO for a patient who requires high flow therapy. Supplementary oxygen will be covered in the next chapter. First, we'll need an AIRVO humidifier. The AIRVO needs to be cleaned and disinfected before it can be used on a new patient. We'll talk about cleaning and disinfection in Chapter 4. Check that the clean storage cover is sealed and its label completed when you collect an AIRVO humidifier from storage. Some hospitals leave the red disinfection tube in place instead of using the clean storage cover to indicate cleaning and disinfection has been carried out. Along with the AIRVO humidifier, we need the consumable accessories. An AIRVO circuit kit, which contains an autofill water chamber, a water chamber adapter, and a heated breathing tube. A patient interface from our range of nasal tracheostomy or mask interfaces and a bag of sterile water. These consumables need to be replaced both for every new patient and at least every seven days. Setup is an eight-step process summarized on the first page of the AIRVO swing tag. First, we have to install the autofill water chamber. Remove the blue port caps. Unwind the water tube, but leave the water bag spike in the plastic bracket so that it stays clean. Fit the chamber adapter firmly onto the chamber ports. Be sure to push it on all the way. Clip the water tube into position and the chamber is ready. Slot the water chamber into the airvo by pushing down the finger guard, lining up the ports and sliding the chamber into place. Push firmly on the port adapter to make sure the chamber is properly installed. The chamber is ready to receive water now. Hang the water bag and push the tube spike into the fitting. Open the vent cap and watch the water enter the chamber to check the level. The water should sit below this line. If the level rises above the mark, the chamber is faulty and needs to be replaced. The chamber maintains the water level automatically until the water bag is empty. Depending on the AIRVO flow rate, a 2 litre bag will last between 1 and 2 days. Check the AIRVO manual for details. Now connect the heated breathing tube. The end with the blue sleeve attaches to the AIRVO. Slide the sleeve back and line up the connector with the port on the top of the AIRVO. Push the connector on and slide the sleeve down to lock the breathing tube into place. The AIRVO is now ready for the patient. Plug the unit into the electrical supply and hold down the power button on the AIRVO to turn it on. While warming up, the AIRVO displays animated bars. You can check that the AIRVO has been disinfected while it warms up by looking for this disinfection symbol. Do not use the AIRVO on a new patient if the disinfection symbol does not appear. If the symbol does appear, the AIRVO has been disinfected correctly since it was last used. We'll look at the cleaning and disinfection process a little later. But for now, this disinfection symbol shows this AIRVO is safe for use on a new patient. This number displays the total number of times that the unit has been disinfected. You may need to record it in a logbook. Push the mode button at any time to check that the flow rate setting is appropriate for the patient and the oxygen level required. We will look at setting the oxygen level shortly. This key symbol means that the flow is locked to prevent accidental changes. Refer to the instruction manual or swing tag if you need to change it. When the AIRVO has warmed up, it will play a tone and display the ready-for-use symbol. 
The dew point temperature, a measure of the humidity of the air supplied to the patient, is also displayed. When warming from a cold start, the first dew point temperature displayed will be 30 degrees Celsius. The airvo is ready for use on the patient at this point, but the temperature will continue to increase for a few minutes until reaching 37 degrees Celsius, the optimum for humidification treatment. The ready for use symbol indicates that you can connect the breathing tube to the patient interface. But first, check that the airvo will be below the patient's head height, so water cannot enter the breathing tube if the unit gets knocked over. Attach the breathing tube to the patient interface by simply pushing the two connectors together until you hear a click. The gas delivered will feel warm when the patient first uses the unit. This is typical. They should simply continue to breathe normally. The setup procedure is summarized on the AirVo swing tag. Let's review the main steps. First, install the water chamber. Then, connect the water supply. And check the water level is below the mark. Connect the breathing tube. Then turn the Evo on. Check that the disinfection symbol appears during warm-up. Confirm that the ready for use symbol is displayed. And finally, connect the breathing tube to the patient interface to complete the setup procedure.